It's a pleasure for me to welcome you this evening, all of our students and our parents and our family members and special guests. We've gathered this evening to honor students that have exhibited academic excellence for this 2022-23 school year. I'd also like to thank Pastor Dr. Mark Williams and his staff here at the North Cleveland Church of God for allowing us to be here and to use this beautiful facility. As we get started this evening, I would like to clear up some confusion. We've had some confusion. As you know, the state last year changed the grading scale. For honors requirements, we haven't changed anything. We've kept the scale the same to be required for students to be able to attend and receive an invitation tonight. However, but because of the changes that the state made and the confusion, any student that qualified under the new grading scale to be a gold honor student will receive a medallion. They'll receive their gold medallion. They'll receive their certificate, and they will receive um, a program with the change in it. And I apologize for any confusion that we've had. The, the main point of this evening, guys, is that you're here. And you, you, it wasn't easy to get here. You set up late nights with those students, just like I set up with mine. And we want everyone to feel like we've done you right and we've taken care of you. And we always want to do the right thing because we love your children and the fact that you've given us that opportunity to have them. So I want it to be a great night tonight. I want you to enjoy the night. And I wanted to clear that up as we get started. At this time, if you would please silence your phones and stand with me for our singing of our national anthem. It's going to be sung this evening by Miss Lily Winters, one of our eighth grade students, honor awards recipient this evening, and daughter of Principal Robertson Winters. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Thank you, you may be seated. I'd like to say how much I appreciate our director of schools, Dr. Linda Cash, for being here this evening. She's got a busy evening this evening. Her and, and uh, Chairman uh, Lee also, uh, they have the Walker Valley graduation that'll be starting at 7.30. And so I appreciate so much Dr. Cash being here and she's gonna come and share some greetings with you this evening, Dr. Cash. Um, thank you so much. Uh, what a privilege it is to be here. But the first thing I want to say is after Lily's rendition, and I honestly had chills, that I want to say to all of you, that's why we're here. We're here to celebrate the children, and once again, I'd like to give her a hand. That's bravery to stand in front of all of us. So we are here to celebrate the achievements of our students at Lake Forest Middle School. We're here to recognize their talents, your time, and all of those involved. These students have immense capabilities today and for the future. They will impact our schools and they will impact our societies. They have qualities that not only help them achieve today's goals, but we can't imagine what they will do in the future, especially when they have parents and grandparents, teachers and principals who always want to support them. 
I also want to thank each one of them because I, I can't imagine any of them grumbling when the parents said, have you done your homework? Have you done your homework? And they're rolling their eyes a little bit when y'all say that, but we stuck to it and we're proud of them. I also want to tell you that Bradley County Schools, we believe that a good solid education is a crucial role in the future of all of our children. And on that, we hold them to high standards, and we always know what a treasure it is to see them complete what we've done and our expectations. This is a public celebration of their success and all they've achieved through hard work, perseverance, and with your help. My gratitude to the principals, the assistant principals, all teachers, parents, and grandparents who with all of our efforts have kept these children on track and develop their young talents and are pre preparing them to achieve something in the future that we cannot even understand where they'll go or what they'll do. You have been raising them in such a magnificent manner. And the most important thing is I think you're raising kids who have compassion for others, who love life, and who understand and know kindness will take them further than anything else. So whatever our students do from here on tonight, look around. Kids, I want you to look around at the people that are here to support you, the people that love you and care about you, and know that whatever you do, whatever trouble you end up in or whatever obstacles are in your way, you have plenty of people that will help you overcome those. So wherever you go and however far you get, you have constant support. Again, I want to thank you for allowing me to be here to say thank you to the kids, to the parents, and to our staff. But I also want to know we're here for students. As Mr. Stevenson said, the reason for tonight is to celebrate our students and their successes. And let's always keep that in the forefront. We're here to celebrate students. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Dr. Cash. I see my good friend, Commissioner Bill Winters, in the back back there. Uh, Bill is the grandfather of Lily, who sang just a little while ago and did a marvelous job on the national anthem. At this time, um, Chairperson Amanda Lee, our 6th District Board Member, is here, and she's here to present her Good Citizenship Award. First, I want to congratulate each of you on a job well done. You are here tonight because you worked hard, you stayed focused, and the result was academic achievement. Every year I give out a citizenship award, um, but the important thing to kids about my award is that it comes with $100 cash. Some of you may wonder why my award isn't given out to the student with the highest GPA or to the student who has attained the most accolades. Don't get me wrong, I do believe that academic success is extremely important, but I also believe it is equally important for you to strive every day to be a good person and to be a good citizen. I thought about all of the different things I could say today because I've given this speech eight years in a row, um, but at the end of the day, the attributes of being a good citizen have never changed. But there is one thing that I have learned and I have witnessed over my eight years of giving this award out. And that is, kids don't become good citizens by chance. They, come, they become good citizens because of the people who raised them. So at this time, I want you kids to give your parents a round of applause for what they've done for you. If we don't teach our kids to be good citizens when they're young, the chances are they're not going to be good citizens when they become adults. A good citizen is someone who exhibits very high moral integrity. They are honest and they have a sense of responsibility. They put other people before themselves. They show kindness and they show grace and they give back to their community. A good citizen doesn't seek praise or recognition for the things they do. They just simply do it because it's the right thing to do. I have learned throughout my life that some of your greatest blessings in life will be when you do something for someone 
who can do absolutely nothing in return for you. The person receiving my citizenship award has been chosen by the Lake, Middle, Lake Forest Middle School staff. This student has been a member of the Lake Forest volleyball team, the cross country team. She has been a member of SGA for two years. She is a diamond doll and she has been involved in FCA and Bible study. She also plays C4 volleyball. When asked what she aspires to be, she said, I aspire to be a godly person, a good teammate, a good friend, and a good student. She wants to serve in the medical field one day so that she can help use her gifts to help others. So at this time, let's please congratulate Miss Gina Belcher, who is also the daughter of Brent and Diana Belcher. We're pleased to have Karen Slater, who is the director of our coordinated school health this evening here with us. She's going to be presenting the Elks Hoop Shoot Award. Uh, she'll be followed by Principal Dr. Sapp to present the Leadership Award, followed by Miss Jenny Branham, and we'll be presenting the Principal's Character Awards. Hi there, and thank you. Raise this up just a little bit. Uh, it is my pleasure this evening to be here and um, recognize Miss Caitlin Neely. And while Caitlin's coming up here, I'm going to tell a little bit about why she's getting this award. Um, each year we partner with the local Elks Lodge, Coordinated School Health does, and we give students the opportunity to uh, shoot free throws and compete. And they learn about grit and how to compete and have good sportsmanship. And Caitlin won the local contest this year and she traveled to Gatlinburg in December to compete against girls her age and she won. And from there, we traveled to uh, Franklin. I say we traveled because if they keep winning, I keep going with them because that's the fun part. So we went to Franklin to um, participate in the state competition where Caitlin won. So she's a state champion hoop shooter. Uh, and yes, give her a hand. Yeah. <laughs> so I did this on purpose so she would get to stand up here a while so everybody could see her and know her. Uh, from the state, we went on to Paducah, Kentucky, where she competed against girls her age from Arkansas, Kentucky, and Missouri and she placed third in that competition. So she's also a central region finalist. So uh, representing the Elps Lodge and of course the Office of Coordinated School Health, I'm very proud of Caitlin and so not only is she smart, she can shoot a basketball. So Caitlin, congratulations. Thank We're you. proud of you. It's my honor to present the Leadership Award this evening. If I could have Ms. J.C. Trantham to come to the stage, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her. She's a three-year member of the Student Government Association and currently serves as our student body president. She attended the Tennessee Association of Student Council's fall workshop this school year and participated in our council's hosting of the TASC fall leadership workshop at Lake Forest in 2021. She's presented two inspirational speeches to our council, what we call motivational moments, above and beyond what is required of an SGA member and has participated in numerous school and community service projects, 
including accumulating more than 2,000 non-perishable food items and raising $3,600 for the North Cleveland Church of God's Second Harvest Food Bank. This year's student government executive board members successfully led our student council to be named a four-star council and a platinum council, which is the highest award in the state for the Tennessee Association of Student Councils. So I would like to take this opportunity to recognize Ms. J.C. Trantham, daughter of Jason and Monica Trantham, as an example of excellence in student leadership at Lake Forest Middle School. Congratulations, J.C., for leading our student body with excellence. Intelligence is a gift. Athleticism is a gift. Talent is a gift. But your character is always a choice. The following eighth grade students were selected because of their outstanding character in and out of the classroom, on and off the field and court, and on and off the stage. They understand the meaning of kindness and treating others with respect. They make the choice to be role models for the students at Lake Forest Middle School. The recipients of the Principal's Character Award for the 2022-23 school year are Tate Akins, Kaylee Oliver, <laughs> and Wyatt Powell. Good evening. I am excited and happy to be here tonight to present the Lady Bruin and Bruin Athlete of the Year Award. But I would uh, be making a mistake if I didn't first thank the parents of these two and all of our athletes that put in hours on the field, in the gym, and then come home and do the same thing with their homework and their coursework with their academics. Uh, being a father of three boys, I know how much of a struggle it is to get them to actually do what you ask them to do at night. So I commend you uh, for doing that. Um, you are the reason, parents, that these student athletes have achieved what they have achieved. We will start with the Lady Bruin Award. This is uh, given to the athlete, female athlete, with the highest three-year GPA. And this female athlete, while at Lake Forest Middle School, has participated in FCA. She has participated uh, three years in basketball. She's also participated in volleyball. The winner of the Lady Bruin Award for the 22-23 school year with a 96.94 GPA is Miss Kenley Johnson.
our male athlete and Bruin Award winner tonight has played three years of football and three years of basketball here at Lake Forest, been a participant in FCA, and also has played baseball. Uh, this is a very special moment for me, uh, being able to, to honor uh, a male athlete that I've known since he came into the world, and uh, it's a very special moment. And without further ado, this male athlete had a three-year GPA average of 98.07, Mr. Braylon Beard. As I said earlier, for those who qualify for the A of silver, I mean gold, excuse me, gold on a row, we will get your items replaced next week. However, at this time, we're going to begin our roll call. Dr. Stapp, if you would, please come forward and call the roll. As we honor the students this evening, we just ask that you hold your applause until we finish the list so that everyone can hear their name called. Travis Abercrombie. Braylon Beard. Emma Bradford, Ethan Bradford, Mason Broom, Emily Bruce. Isaiah Buckner, Layla Carroll, Courtney Kastler, Sadie Cox, Lincoln Davis, Grayson Davis, Lily Duncan, Trevor Freitas, Emma Hakes, Hallie Hartman, Madison Holcomb,
Noah Jenkins. Kenley Johnson. Callie Kessler. Jackson Knight. Logan Lamar. Ebony Longwith. Alicia Messer. Presley Million. Willow Moore. Charlie Murphy. Aiden Myers. Caitlin Neely. Jonathan Ortiz Luna. Anna Marie Owenby. Layla Patterson. Riley Patterson. Jordan Pham. Addison Perkle. Kylie Russell. Garrison Sapp. Torin Smith Bramlett. Skyland Stewart. JC Trantham. Andre Villatoro, Jeremiah Adamas, Briley Aday, Logan Allen. Allie Anderson, Gabriel Anderson, Adrian Arnold, Braden Arthur. Briar Baker, Anessa Balin, Nathan Barnes. Mary Jane Barnett. Yamalet Bar of Nuevo. 
Jenna Belcher. Braxton Belk. Adriana Benson. Kifton Blackwell. Ariana Blankenship. Kiera Blunt, Michaela Borman, Tristan Bowman, John Boyd. Landon Boyette, Sienna Bracknell, Rory Bragg, Sailor Bramlett, Zella Branham, Hannah Brimmer, Chloe Broglin, Micah Brooks. Caitlin Brown, Liam Bunch, Kinsley Burmeister, Addison Burnett, Connor Burns, Connor Bynum, Braden Calfee, Morgan Calfee, Elizabeth Carden, Andrew Carroll, Tylan Casey, Kaladin Cato, Avery Chastain. Cooper Clayton, Neelan Coffey, Ava Coghill, Kendall Coghill, Luke Collette, Joshua Cook, Alexander Cooper Berry, Julia Corbin, Caleb Crisp.
Shiloh Curtis. Shireen Dadani. Lauren Davis. Elijah Davis. Landon Davis. Samuel Davis. Wyatt Davis. Callie Day. Boone DeFries. Olivia Demers Baldwin. Cayman Dills. John Dodson. Annabelle Dodson. Sadie Dugan. Ella Duncan. Phoebe Dunkel. Bobby Eaves. McKenna Ellison. Kira Emmons. Lila Epperson. Cole Evans. Chloe Farkas. Maddox Finley. Eduardo Flores Sias, Paisley Flowers, Claire Floyd, Millie Frere, Jada Francis. Olivia Franklin, Jason Fraze, Alex Gant, Rylan Gaylor, Era Serena. Cole Goodwin, James Gujer, Jordan Grady, Carrie Lynn Gray, Piper Green. Mariah Greenwood,
Chadwick Gunter, Caitlin Guy, Allie Hagee, Haven Hare, Sarah Beth Hall, Cameron Hamilton, Gabriella Hamilton, Damon Heineman, Cheyenne Helms, Maggie Hendricks, Michael Henson, Amelia Heron, Alex Hicks, Jones Hicks, Ava Higgins, Landon Higgins in the sixth grade, and Landon Higgins in the eighth grade. Layla Higgins. Amaris Hodson. Raylan Holland, Julia Houston, Adrian Howard, Eva Jofreon. Leela Jofreon, Kylie Johnson, Braxton Keith, Lily Grace Kellogg, Caden Kibble, Ava King, Brody King, Aaliyah Knight, Wesley Knight, Nathaniel Kolosov, Avenir Condor, Emma Kraminski, Julian Kraminski, Allie Lamb, Stella Lehman. Axel Lee,
Helena Leon Carlin. Sydney Lou Allen. Landry Lewis. Reagan Light. Brandel Logan. Trenton Long. Jaslyn Lopez. Isabella Luna Franco. Anthony Maldonado Santos. Vanessa Maroon. Landon Martin. Maximilian Martinez. Alex McGill. Zane McIntosh. Reagan McNabb. Skylar Milam. Jace Miller. Lily Miller. Parker Moody. Thomas Morgan. Jenna Mowry. Kaden Nellums. Tinsley Norton. Trip Norton. Connor Norwood. Hosanna Odell. Haley Oliver. Addie Owens. Isaac Page. Keegan Parks. Alexis Patterson. Alyssa Patterson. Owen Patterson. Pedro Perez Guido. 
Hayden Phelps. Anae Phillips. Blaze Phillips. Calvin Powers. Kinzer Presley. Keegan Ramirez Davis. Cameron Ramsey. Katie Rapp, Caroline Reddy, Caleb Rehagen, Ansley Rich, Bailey Richmond, Carly Richmond, Selena Ritchie, Michaela Roberts, Elizabeth Roblero Velasquez, Avery Rodriguez, Gavin Rogers, Miles Rogers. William Rao, Elsie Roy, Lucas Roy, Hallie Reimer, Larissa Sabiston, June Salisis, Noah Samayoa, Michelle Sampson, Marcus Sanders. Presley Sanders, Samuel Sang, Summer Schmidt, Callie Shields. Riley Shipley, Isaac Silva, Corey Simons, Gracie Skinner. Elizabeth Slocum, Jamie Smith, Matt Smith,
Madeline Sponable. Kinsley Stancil. Addie Staten. Sonia Stedman. Zoe Stinnett. Braley Stokes, Autumn Swanson, Riley Talent, Abigail Talley, Quentin Taylor, Mamie Terrell, Tucker Thomas, Emma Thompson, Dylan Thompson, Xavier Tilly, Gunner Touchstone, Abigail Tronero, Easton Tucker, Isaac Viola. Joshua Visage, Elizabeth Volleynets, Ethan Voorhees, Christiana Voiles, Branson Wade, Faith Walker, Layla Walker, Jaden Ward, Madeline Warren. Alexander Washington, Noah Watson, Aiden White, Landon White, Riley White, Zoe Wink, Ava Wilhoit, Manny Williams, Hannah Willis, Colby Wilson, Natalie Wimpy, Lily Winters, Ethan Warden, London Workman, Kylie Zachman, and now we'll applaud all of our recipients.
Thank you, Dr. Stamp. At this time, we would like to present our Bruin Scholar Award. This award goes to the student in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grades that has maintained the highest GPA for this school year. For the sixth grade with a GPA of 99.4 goes to Anna Marie Oimby. For the seventh grade, with a GPA of 99.6, goes to Jordan Pham. And for eighth grade, with a GPA of 98.94, goes to Trevor Freitas. And at this time, we'll be announcing our Mr. and Miss LFMS nominees and the winners for this evening. The Mr. and Miss LFMS award is the highest faculty award that we offer at Lake Forest Middle School. And there's a very specific criteria, including no report card grade lower than an 85 in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, taking at least two advanced or honors courses exemplifying noble character, leadership, a positive attitude, contributions to the community. These students will be honored this evening and they also receive the very first yearbook. Yearbooks will be distributed tomorrow at school, but these two students will receive their yearbook this evening. And in middle school, that's important. So we will call up each nominee and read a little uh, biography about them, and then we'll announce the winner for each. So we're going to start with our Miss LFMS candidates. So students, whenever I call your name, you just come on up to the stage, and then I'll continue reading about you. So our first Miss LFMS candidate is Miss Emma Bradford. She's the daughter of Blake and Amy Bradford. Emma is a three-year member of the Student Government Association and the Tennessee Association of Student Councils. She has served as the Vice President of the Beta Club and has also been a member of the Yearbook Staff Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Mrs. Powers Bible Study, Rhapsody, the Book Club, the Board Game Club, and Mrs. Edwards Bible Study. Emma has served as an administrative office aide and a peer tutor. She was named a Rising Star and Member of the Year at the Tennessee Association of Student Councils, where she also earned first place in the state in the essay competition. Emma has been a Gold Honor Roll recipient and was named SGA's Member of the Year. She also earned 120 service hours as a summer intern for education as a profession. She plans to enroll in the Tennessee Valley Early College Program at Bradley Central High School. She wants to graduate with her associate's degree in early childhood education and then attend an Ivy League university to complete her bachelor's degree. 
Emma plans to attain her master's and doctoral degrees as well. She wants to teach elementary school and then progress into administration. Bless you, my child. <laughs> and eventually be a director of schools, and I would proudly work for Miss Emma. She also wants to be a certified cosmetologist on the side and looks forward to being a wife and mother. She's going to be a busy girl. <laughs> Emma said, I want to thank my family for always believing in me and striving to give me the best in life. I want to thank the amazing teachers and administration for making me feel like a part of the Bruin family. And lastly, I want to thank the Lord for all the opportunities he has given me and the amazing people in my life with whom he has blessed me. I would be nowhere without the people I love and look up to. Miss Emma Bradford. The second, our second Miss Elphamus candidate is Miss Hallie Reimer. <laughs> Hallie is the daughter of Evan and Haley Reimer. Hallie is a three-year member of the Student Government Association and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Hallie has also been a member of the Lady Bruins basketball team, tennis team, and track team, in which she qualified for sectionals. She has been a soloist and dance captain in our show choir, Revolution. Hallie is a three-year honor roll recipient and is a student leader in FCA. Hallie aspires to be a successful woman with a family. She wants to graduate from high school and then become a veterinarian so that she can help animals in need. Hallie said, I want to thank my mom and dad for pushing me to be the best of my ability and never giving up on me even when things got hard. Ms. Hallie Reimer. And our third Miss LFMS candidate is Miss Lily Winters. <laughs> Lily is the daughter of Robbie and Amber Winters. She is a three year member of the Student Government Association, Beta Club, and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She is a three year honor roll recipient. She has been a member of the Lady Bruins volleyball team, which won the Bear Paw Tournament and the Ottawa Invitational, the basketball team, and the tennis team, in which she was named to the all-district tennis team. She has also played C4 volleyball. Lily has been a member of our show choir revolution and the FCA leadership team. She was the vocal solo champion for Tennessee at the State Beta Club Convention and will represent the state at this summer's National Beta Club Convention in Kentucky. She was in the high school musical production and is a member of the Westmore Church of God Youth Group. Lily has sung the national anthem at the Chattanooga Red Wolves Professional Soccer Club monthly at the TSSAA State Basketball Championship where our Bradley Barretts won. We think it was partially in part of Lily's solo and at various other local high school events. Lily wrote and led morning weekly devotions for the volleyball team this year and was voted most school spirit by her peers. Lily aspires to be a youth pastor to teenage girls. After high school graduation, she wants to go to college and play volleyball. On her bucket list is the goal to sing the national anthem at an, at an Atlanta Braves game and to audition for American Idol someday. Lily said, I would like to thank my parents, Robbie and Amber Winters, for providing endless support, unconditional love, and opportunities to follow my dreams. I would love to thank my twin brothers, Luke and Holt, for filling my life with joy, laughter, and entertainment. To my teachers and friends, you have made my middle school years the best of my life, and I love and appreciate you. I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the life he has given me. Miss Lily Winters. And the 2023 Miss LFMS winner this year is Miss Emma Bradford.
The first Mr. Lake Forest Middle School candidate is Mr. Gabe Anderson. <laughs> Gabe is the son of Sarah and Jerry Anderson. While at Lake Forest, Gabe has participated in Beta Club, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the Student Government Association, the track team, and the Revolution Show Choir. Gabe has been an honor roll recipient, the tenor section leader for Revolution, a student leader in FCA, the historian in SGA, and the Beta Club president. Gabe aspires to be someone who radically changes lives. It could be in a workplace or a public setting, but he believes that is what God has called him to do. Gabe said, I want to thank my mom and my dad for always being there and being my shoulder to lean on. I want to thank my teachers for guiding me to stand here today. And lastly, I want to thank God for setting me on this path and choosing me to be a disciple of his word. First candidate, Mr. Gabe Anderson. The second Mr. Lake Forest candidate is Mr. Trevor Freitas. Trevor is the son of Jamie and Jennifer Freitas. Trevor has been a member of the SGA and the Beta Club for three years. He's also been a member of the Art Club and the Dell Student Tech Crew. Trevor earned the Bruin Scholar Award for having the highest grade point average in the sixth grade. He has earned all A's for all three years and was voted most studious by his peers. Trevor received Student of the Month for exhibiting characteristics of caring and friendship. When Trevor graduates from high school, he wants to attend MIT and learn to be a computer programmer or an engineer for NASA. Trevor said, I would like to thank all my teachers through the years for supporting me and helping me to reach this point. Without you, this never would have happened. I would also like to thank my parents for their constant love and support for all my life. Candidate number two, Mr. Trevor Freitas. And the third Mr. Lake Forest candidate is Mr. Jonathan Ortiz Luna. Jonathan is the son of Herminia Luna and Carino Ortiz. Jonathan has been an honor roll student and honors night recipient for all three years. He's been named a student leader of the month and has contributed to fundraisers to aid the community. Jonathan aspires to have a profession in either computer science or information technology. He plans to enroll in the Tennessee Valley Early College Program at Bradley Central to help him accomplish his goals. Jonathan said, I would like to thank my friends, my family, and past and present teachers who have taught me to be the best, or taught me to the best of their abilities and have helped me to become a better version of myself. I would also like to thank our administrators for giving me the best and most welcoming school experience. The third Mr. Lake Forest candidate, Mr. Jonathan Ortiz Luna. All right, with no further ado, Mr. Lake Forest Middle School for the 2022-2023 school year is Mr. Gabe Anderson. Parents and guardians, in closing, I'd like to thank you this evening for the commitment and discipline that you have provided these students. Without that, these students wouldn't be seated here this evening, and I appreciate so much your hard work and your interest in being here. 
I'd also like to thank our teachers and staff and administrators for the compassion and the love and the guidance that they show our students each and every day. I see my good friend, Constable Richard Burnett, back in the back. Richard, thank you for being here this evening. This concludes our honors program for this 22-23 school year. I pray God's richest blessings on your family. Good night, and God bless you.